Do not attempt anything you see in this video. These animals are extremely dangerous and one mistake can leave you seriously injured or killed. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be feeding some more snakes. Uh, we're starting again with another monocle cobra. This is my female. She is much smaller than the male because she is just a baby. And she is a very feisty little snake. So let's see if she will eat this pinky. I'm sure she will because these guys are garbage disposals. They will eat constantly whether they're hungry or not. And just like that, she latches on. I figured she would. These snakes are in the Elapidae family. They are Naja Kuthia. They are found all throughout Southeast Asia and are extremely popular in the venomous snake community. A lot of people keep these. They possess a neurotoxic and cytotoxic venom that leaves a nasty bite. They are highly venomous and a bite from one of these snakes even at this size could be fatal And here we have the Cape Coral Cobra, a Speedolaps lubricus lubricus. This is not a true cobra. It is not in the Nausea genus. It is in the Speedolaps genus. This is a shield nose cobra. It's also referred to as Africa's coral snake. It has two short front fixed fangs. It possesses a neurotoxic venom that works by shutting down your nervous system. These snakes have caused fatalities, and there is no antivenom for this species. Up next, we have my prairie rattlesnakes, Crotalus viridus. These snakes are all over the northwestern United States, all the way from California up into Canada.
this pair I have are just babies. They are a breeding pair. This is a male and female. These snakes possess the famous Mojave toxin. They are primarily a hematoxic, cytotoxic, and neurotoxic rattlesnake. And they are beautiful animals. Up next, we have my squams. These are the African bush vipers, Arthera squamagera. I have a green male and an orange female, and we're going to be feeding them. These are vipers found all throughout the bush of Africa. They are found throughout the forests of Africa, and as their name implies, they spend most of their time in bushes. This is an arboreal species that spends most of its time in trees and bushes. They have very rough killed scales that make them appear like dragons. Much like the Cape Coral Cobra, there is no antivenom produced for this species. However, there has been some studies that show antivenom for the Echis species or saw scale vipers does work. They possess a hematoxic venom. And even though fatal bites from these snakes are very rare, if have ever been recorded, their venom still packs a very powerful punch and would absolutely ruin your week. In fact, you would more than likely have some pretty severe necrosis and tissue damage on whatever part of your body was bitten. And here we have the beautiful blue Insularis, Trimerosaurus Insularis. This is an Asian snake that's found throughout the Komodo Island in Indonesia. And much like the bush viper, a bite from this snake is not likely to be fatal, but their venom does pack a punch. It does hurt. Trust me.
And last but not least, we have the Puff Adder, Bittus Aritans. This possesses one of the nastier venoms of any snake that I own. The Bittus genus, in particular, has some really nasty venom. Your Gaboon Vipers, Puff Adders, Rhino Vipers, respectively, have some of the nastiest, most toxic venoms on the planet. And these snakes are to be treated with the utmost respect. Now, this snake does not like to be fed. She likes to just eat her food on her own terms. So I've left her a couple of hopper mice on her rock, and that's where she collects them from. I'll come back the next day, and they'll be gone. That's the way it always works with her. So I generally do not mess with her. She is extremely defensive. As you can see here, this snake does not like to be messed with. And a bite from her would be extremely bad. If I survive, whatever is bitten will rot off. It will have to be amputated. Whether it's my finger or my hand, I'm going to lose it. So we don't take chances with Mrs. Puffs. You can see how agitated she is. She is not a happy snake. She watches my every move. And when I walk into the snake room, she immediately starts huffing and puffing. Like she's going to blow my house down. And she very well may do that one day. But as long as I keep my distance from her and do not give her the opportunity to bite me, I should be fine which is what you have to do with these snakes. You cannot let them get anywhere close enough to you to bite you. A bite from the squabs or the blue viper is one thing, but this girl is a serious bite. These animals are not pets and they do not make good pets. These are dangerous, dangerous animals and should be treated with the utmost of respect. These are educational ambassadors, and they are used for education and conservation purposes only. I do interact with these snakes on a regular basis, but I never handle them in an unsafe manner. You should never free handle any snake. You should never pick up any snake that you can't identify or that you aren't sure what it is. The best way to avoid a bite is to not pick up or interact with the snake. Most people get bit trying to kill snakes. So always remember that. If you try to kill the snake, you're getting close enough to it for it to bite you. And if a snake is in fear for its life, it is going to bite you. And more than likely gonna give you a dose of its nasty venom. So just leave them alone. Enjoy them from your TV. Enjoy them from the zoo. And you can come tour my facility. I am open to the public for private tours. You just have to message me on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. You can find me at WNC Venom. Most places. You can send me a message, set up a private tour. Or you can just go to WNCVenom.com and you can buy merchandise from there. Click on the link that goes to our store. Or you can just visit WNCVenomStore.com and get apparel with one of your favorite snakes on it. We have all of the bit of species on one shirt. We have our Blue Dude, Mo, Ninny Muggins, Squams, Mrs. Puffs, shirts, mugs, hoodies, you name it. Go check it out. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.